Hello everybody, Jay from the Golden Testificate here, and today I'm going to bring you five mods to help make your exploration not as boring in Minecraft, so let's get right to the video. Really quickly before we get into the first mod, I would like to thank everyone for hitting 600 subscribers. This has been a really fun journey, and let's just get right into the first mod. First mod to help with exploration is the Nature's Compass. Now this mod, without any other mods like Biomes of Plenty, isn't really the greatest for exploration, but I would still recommend it. So to craft it, you need four saplings in the corners, then four logs surrounding a compass. Now all, all that does is add the nature's compass. It's all the nature's compass does, but what you do is you right click, and you can select any biome. And so I'm in a savanna, so I'm just gonna go savanna. Uh, you click the biome and hit start search, and it will point in the direction of the biome. And because I'm in the savanna, it says that I'm 60 blocks away from it because it points to the middle. But that's pretty much all this does. I'd highly recommend it. And let's go on to the next mod. The next mod on the list I have gone over before, but I decided to go over it again and kind of do it a little better this time. The next mod on this list is Towns and Towers. Now this mod adds new villages, pillager towers, and ships. Now I'm not going to show any of the ships because I just couldn't find one and the slash locate did not want to work. But, as you're seeing within these shows here, uh, there's new villages, they have pillager outposts like the overgrown Taiga, and they also have different badlands, like the wooded, wooden badlands villages, and overall they add a bunch of new loot tables to the game, and I would highly recommend this mod, so let's get right to the next one. The next mod on this list adds a ton, and I'm only going over the structures based off the exploration aspect of the video. So it adds things like haunted houses, small graveyards, medium and large graveyards. It adds altars, it adds lich islands, lich prisons, and it adds a ton of new boss fights and items. It is a really great mod. It is called the Graveyard. I would highly recommend this mod. The graveyards have some really good loot in them if you do end up finding them. Uh, if you do, look for the Quartz Graves. Those ones have some really good loot in them. Let's just get on to the next mod. Finally, the last structure mod that I'm going to be adding is the Lost Castle. Now, this mod adds an old feature from an old mod. I don't quite remember the whole circumstances around the mod, but it adds a huge castle which has like a city inside of it. There's a lot of Vindicators, Evokers, and Pillagers in general, so I'd be careful going to one of these. They are very rare and they have some really good loot tables and they're just a really gorgeous place to go explore. So if you think you can take on a huge fight, I'd recommend going to these places and let's go to the final mod. And last but not least, the final mod that adds some exploration enhancements is Immersive Portals. Now, with Immersive Portals, the first thing you, that it adds to the game is portals that when you light them, you don't have to go through a loading screen. And I can go to the nether, I can come over and come back. Now, if I were to go to F3, if you look at the biome, I'm in the overworld, now I'm in the nether. And it's really seamless plugin. It does use quite a bit of processing power. So if you don't have the greatest of computers, I wouldn't recommend running this. But the second feature that this does is when you're in the world creation menu, you know, let me set this to creative really quick. You can go to the more tab, go to dimension stack, and you can enable dimension stacks. Now what this lets you have is instead of having just seamless portals, this actually disables portals and you hit finish create and this does work with modded dimensions including like the aether twilight forest you can stack your dimensions you could have seamless portals between them and once this loads really quick i'll show you what it does all right so now that we're loaded in let's just say i want to go to the nether and i don't have the portal with dimension stacking you just have to dig really 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 far down or i don't know what the config is Still not far down enough. You'll know you're far down enough when you hit netherrack. And it's... Voila! I'm in the nether now. I went from being in the overworld to being in the nether pretty seamlessly. And you can use this to create elevators with the moving elevators mods. It's a really fun mod and I recommend adding this if you like to explore. 
Well, it looks like you made it to the end of the video, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for making it to the end of the video, and also thank you for everyone hitting 600 subscribers. Let's try and make it to our goal to 1,000 here in the next couple months, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.